They're almost like going back in time down the strip. Chicks are dressed up. There's guys looking like me with the hair and the bandanas. It's like, holy shit. Hey everyone, I'm Katie Darrell, and I am not the first, nor will I be the last to say it, but I gotta. Today we are going round and round with Stephen Piercy. How are my, you? My, my, my. Yes, we are. Oh man, congratulations. I gotta tell you because you have an amazing box set uh, that's coming out here in June. And I mean, I'm sure you've got all the details. Please spill them on me. Well, the only thing that's missing is uh, bells and whistles, but I think they're in there too. It's pretty cool. Um, as it's right here. Um, it's got, you know, it, the ironic thing is, it's the 40th year anniversary of the band with the EP, 40 with Seller, but this thing's crazy. You know, we all had an input in it. And it, what's even more ironic is the band can get together to do this, but not to, you know, reunite. And, and, and so that, it is what it is. So this is very important right here box set it's a box set uh there, there's a lot in it it's the atlantic years um and with all box sets you, you did mention like the bells and the whistles when someone peels off the plastic opens this bad boy up what are they what are they gonna see what are they gonna smell well i mean geez you're getting a a, 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 a laminate uh from invasion you're getting a scale os and you're getting a a, a single a vinyl single in here of Nobody Rides. There's a story behind that. You get uh, posters and, and picks. I put it right there. I got to tell you, my uh, one pet peeve with box sets, all right? And I'm sure even the artists have the same pet peeve. Yeah. Box sets are great. It's a box. But then you get these great posters and they've got the crease in it. I wish like posters <laughs> could be like, tube glued to the top of the box set. Are you with me? I'm with you right there. But you know, and then, you know, everybody throws in two cents. I dug deep in the archives and it's got this really cool book of unreleased photos, personal photos, and, and it's on the road and being groovy, ratting and rolling. It, it, it's actually pretty cool. We've never really had a box set, so it's a great representation of the five guys, the five albums, and the 1980s Sunset Strip experiences right there. Does it feel like 40 years to you? Oh, good one. Yes, yeah, sometimes it does. And then sometimes it doesn't. I mean, my meet and greets that I have at my solo shows are almost like going back in time down the strip. Chicks are dressed up. There's guys looking like me with the hair and the bandanas. It's like, holy shit. It's a good thing. It's a flashback, you know? Well, you you mentioned the Sunset Strip, so you were very fundamental in the formation of what we now know as the Sunset Strip. Mm -hmm. It was you. It was Van Halen. It was Motley Crue. It was before Guns N' Roses. I mean, you guys were there putting your stink everywhere. Um, well, tell me about the formation um, and the friendships that were formed on that strip. You got it, you know, and, and there were only a few bands that literally kicked off, kick-started that whole scene. First, blame it on Van Halen, who I met in 78. <laughs> if we're gonna point fingers, we're gonna point it at Van Halen. <laughs> because in 1978, I had the opportunity to meet him and become friends and blah, blah, blah. And I watched what went down and I was more than prepared to go to LA in 1980, take over. And Robin and I, along with Nikki and Tommy and Vince, we had a street gang called the Gladiators. There were only a handful of bands. And believe it or not, it was Rock's Regime, who is now Striper. It was Dante Fox, who is now Great White. It was Wasp, Quiet Riot, Motley, Rat. There was only a handful of us that really kick-started some things. And some other bands that should have made it, but kind of, you know, who knows, I don't know but maybe not the flyers on the pole, I don't know. There's uh, the Sunset Strip uh, experience, as you call it, which yeah. is perfect, perfect word. Um, what what was the experience? Tell me about the, the walking down the street, the multiple clubs, the parking lots, the bathrooms. What is I, the experience? Well, I mean, look, uh, whoever said decade of decadence, 
they had it spot on. You know, everything was new, exciting, dangerous, colorful, fast. I don't think anybody slept. Uh, you know, at any given time, we would be on the lawns, you know, and behind the clubs with guys in uh, Striper, you know, partying, you know, doing what you gotta do on the Sunset Strip. I mean, you know, the place was nuts. The only thing I can relate it to in the 80s is the Doors movie, right? Everybody's in front of the whiskey. Well, that's how it was then. 24-7 back in the day, early 80s. Yeah, it was just like that. It was nuts. It was a, a new adventure every day, you know? Well, the, the main point of our conversation today, because I don't want to get too off track, is this box set, which is so iconic. It's the, the rat box set, the Atlantic year, celebrating 40 years. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And uh, uh, of course, you're going to get the hits. You're going to get the rat songs that you want to hear. Um, and has it been fun and an interesting roller coaster to see how um, the media and pop culture have chosen to use rat songs over the years. I mean, let's just start with that Geico commercial, right? I mean, yeah, right. Boom! That was a that was probably a nice paycheck. Well, it charted it charted again, you know, and that just shows how strong of a song that was. And fortunately, if you're going to call us a one hit wonder, which we're not, but you can. I'll take it with round and round. What are you, nuts? I mean, you know, Geico, Zamboni, Culver Kai, uh, Point Break. Uh, uh, weird Science. You guys have the so a song in Weird, weird Science. Weird Science. There you go. Weird sci Science. The Wrestler. Uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, Golden Child. I mean. Pretty Woman. Hello. Yeah, they tapped into us and we kind of, you know, dug it. We didn't really push ourselves out there. That's one thing Rat didn't do. We didn't want to do the acoustic songs. We didn't want to do the TV show. We didn't want to do a lot of things that maybe, you know, kicked us in the ass. But I mean, <laughs> you know, one of them was to stick to our guns and hey, here you go. Right here the box set. That's it. I'm psyched for this box set. It's the 40th anniversary, um, the Atlantic years. I think there's five Elba albums in there. I mean, if you are a vinyl junkie, this thing is totally for you. Uh, Stephen, thank you so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. You got it, and thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure about 40 years. Round and round. <laughs> hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.